We're at the midpoint of the Grandview football season after the Vikings disposed of Clark on Saturday. And from a historical perspective, uh, second highest scoring game in Grandview history, second largest margin of victory in, in Grandview history. But I know, Joe, you're really not concerned about that. I would say from your side of the football, no penalties, no turnovers. It was the most clean game you guys played. Yeah, Jeff, that was that was probably one of the first things that, uh, uh, I don't know, I shouldn't say the first thing. It was the first thing I thought of when the game finished, but at, but at some point during the during the third quarter, I was like, man, I don't, I don't think we have any penalties yet. And, uh, you know, that, that was, that is something that's been a, been a, I don't want to say a major issue for us this year, but it's been an issue. Uh, something we, a category we've, uh, you know, we've always taken great pride in. We've, we've been first in our league with least amount of penalties, uh, at least every year since I've been the head coach. I take great pride in that. It shows discipline and, um, you know, all those kinds of things. So, uh, that, yeah, that was probably A number one. Uh, the thing I was, of course, we won the game. That's, you know, you know, you're always most pleased about that, but then you look back at the rest of the stuff, and, yeah, I think you nailed it, Jeff. I mean, we, we, we played about as complete a game as you could play, and, uh, and obviously the score um, very much indicated that. Uh, certainly didn't see it going that direction, but, um, you know, uh, but, but like I told our guys at the end of the game, it's like, hey, this is what you're capable of, you know, and, and it was it was really fun to watch. Got a number of guys um, that that played a lot of snaps. You know, it's just one of those locker rooms. Everybody's usually pretty happy in the locker room after one of those kinds of games. And uh, but uh, yeah, all in all, both sides of the football, uh, you know, we, we we couldn't have played. Uh, much better, and uh, you know, just just real thrilled about the result. Well, and, and the other thing is, you took advantage of every opportunity that was given to you, and you know that's the reason the score was the way it was. Yeah, it, it seemed like we were playing on their side of the fifty uh, most of the game, uh, with, with you know whether it be a turnover, a couple turnovers, two defensive touchdowns. Uh, they had some issues with with their punt team. You know we. We, they, they were into the wind. You know, we survived that first quarter uh, where the, the, the wind really picked up about the second quarter and on. Uh, and those second and third quarters is when we really, um, you know, kind of built that lead up where, where we did have the wind because it was it was a factor. You know, it was warm out there, but that, that wind was, uh, was certainly a factor, especially in the kicking game, throwing the football and, you know, and uh, our, our ground game, um, you know, to, to be quite honest. I don't know, I wouldn't say we were nervous going into the game, but but they really, you know, they kind of crowd that line of scrimmage and it's not real easy to run on them. Um, you know, and I thought at times we, you know, we controlled that line of scrimmage pretty well and did for the most part um, what, what we wanted to in the run game. And, you know, and, and that's what uh, kind of allowed us to put it away there when, you know, we didn't really have the win. I mean, the game was, you know, it was pretty well in hand by the fourth quarter, obviously, but uh, you know, our guys just kept playing. They kept the pedal down, and uh, again, yeah, that's another thing I'm proud of. You never want to, you know, feel like you're running it up on an uh, on an opponent. Uh, but I, I really don't feel like we we did that. You know, it's not like we were throwing the ball down the field trying to score. Quick. You know, we were running the football and uh, effectively running it, and, and they knew we were running it. And you know, that's when you know it's your kind of day when um, you know they had kind of everybody out there defending the run and. You know, we were able to keep keep chunking off runs. So uh, again, just just really pleased. Really beneficial to play so many guys too in that game. Yeah, no doubt. And um, you know, we we've been able to do that a couple different times this year. But uh, yeah, and and it was uh, as you saw, Jeff. Man, it was it was probably uh, you know one of the bigger crowds I can remember we've we've had at our place. And you know, we had about 40 recruits in as well. It was homecoming. It was um, you know I was I was a little worried because of the you know the heat. You know, if it was going to drive some folks away. I think it did after halftime, uh, but 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 right away it was certainly a pretty good atmosphere and environment to play in, and you know for all those guys to get an opportunity to play in that kind of atmosphere, and uh, I think it was really good. And, and like I said, when you win like that and everybody gets in the game, um, you know there, there there's not much to you know because usually every game you know you you kind of worry, man, we should have gotten so and so in, or uh, certainly not the case Saturday. So uh, pretty pretty fun deal. Okay, so you're at the midway point, 5-0, and heading into the bye. Um, what are some of the things that you think that uh, your team uh, needs to improve on in the second half? Yeah, I, I think the easy answer is just rest. You know, we, we've been at it for, for a while now. If you, you know, if you add in the summer workouts, you know, they really had a, a week off between summer workouts and camp. We had three 
pretty physical weeks of camp and um, you know and, and we're we're beat up much like probably uh, a lot of teams right now but we're, we're out there with you know two of our top wide receivers we, we haven't had them and um, you know we our our best linebacker was out last or not our best one of our best linebackers was out uh, Cade Sheedy uh, was out Saturday so uh, you know and these are all injuries that are you know guys we feel um, you know that like we'll have them here whether it be the Central Methodist game or shortly thereafter, but but with the built-in buy there, that, that gives us a whole another week. Um, so I think that's probably the biggest thing is um, you know just just getting rested up and you know obviously those first five games were were important. One of them was super important because it was a true conference game with Culver and and now you you know you go into that side of the you know side of the conference where everybody kind of has new life uh, for for the most part and uh, have a have a chance to win the conference conference championship, get an automatic bid to the playoffs, you know, that's what we're all going to be fighting for right now. But, you know, the, the good thing is we got this, you know, this this open week to just kind of recharge the batteries a little bit. We'll still get out and practice uh, twice this week, and uh, but it won't be real physical. It'll be uh, really just kind of stay in rhythm, stay around each other. Um, so it'll be, uh, it, it's much needed, you know, and I think every team across the league probably feels that way regardless of where they're at. Uh, well, within their team, it's just it's just kind of nice because everybody's kind of been go 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 uh, for probably the past eight or nine weeks, and um, and then of course it'll ramp right back up. But uh, for right now, we're 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 going to uh, enjoy this a little bit and get some guys rested up and be ready to go for the second half. All right, Joe, uh, enjoy the bye week, and we'll talk to you a couple weeks. Thanks, Jeff. Head coach Joe Woodley, as Grandview will have a bye this week, they'll be back in action a week from Thursday at Central Methodist.